Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and we are talking about tantric sex and the topic for this video is connect with sexual conversations. Communication is very important to create tantric sex connection. And um, you can do that in different ways. The first way to do that is when you start getting to know each other to share some ideas, some preferences about your sexual experience. You can, for instance, start your conversation, your sexual conversation with what is it that you like with sex? What are the moments that really uplifted you the most? What kind of touch do you prefer? What kind of intensity do you like? Do you prefer penetration? Or do you prefer oral sex? Or finger stimulation? See, all those questions are going to give you hints about what is the sexual landscape, the sexual preferences of your potential partner. Even if you are already engaged in having sex with that person, all these hints are going to be extremely useful once you start engaging in tantric sex. The reason why you want to have this sexual exploration is because not everybody has the same preferences when it comes to sex. Some people enjoy really soft touch and some people prefer something which is a bit more rough, more direct, stronger, more powerful, more passionate. So those different rhythms and different vibes can change as well. One day you might be in explosive mode with really lots of fire and lots of passion and the following day you just want to be nurtured and taken care of. So checking with your partner, your lover, those different options and possibilities is one essential aspect of connecting and communicating. Another time to communicate is, of course, when you are actually having sex, when you're already engaging. And you can communicate in ways that are going to bring a new vibration in uh, the exchange that you're having with your partner. You might remember some scene from some movies where one of the lovers, one of the partners in the sex scene might start talking in Russian or Spanish or French and that turns on the, their lover. You can co communicate in ways that are extremely sexy, extremely juicy. I love feeling your lips. I'm enjoying your presence. You're such a gorgeous, soft, beautiful being. Everything you want to manifest in your life will happen. As I touch your body, I touch divinity. So you can whisper things like that into your partner's ear and really while you are engaging, for instance, in intercourse or soft touch, that's going to bring a new dimension to your experience. Of course, another moment where you can communicate, where it's important to communicate, it's after sex. This might happen the same evening, if you had sex in the evening, or the day after, and I call that the vital sex uh, feedback minute. So what that means is that you're going to share with your partner the things that you enjoyed and the things that felt a little bit maybe challenging or maybe a little bit painful or where something was being triggered there. So this feedback minute is very important to keep on learning together so that you don't get sidetracked. Sometimes you might be misled by some mixed signals from your partner and you don't know how to read them. 
maybe you think you did a really good job that you were present and focused and in fact the experience was not necessarily pleasurable for your partner for different reasons so it's important to have a check and to be open to receive some feedback sometimes that might be slightly challenging when you engage into sexual communication also is try to keep the frequency high don't necessarily engage into chit chat or conversation or bringing up too many old stories in too lengthy ways if your partner asks you a question it doesn't mean that you have to engage into a one hour storytelling it can be just a minute a couple of minutes you know to give them some very targeted hints about who you are and what you like another core thing to avoid is to talk about other lovers or ex-partners basically to get other people involved into the space and that's that's something that turns you both on but when you're sharing feedback for instance or you're sharing impressions or you're talking about your sex life it's not that important to bring your ex-lovers and traumas or the pleasure that you share with that person keep it focused and keep it targeted to what is important to the two of you and what you share there when you are there with your lover it's really about you and them okay so keep that polarity present and realize that your partner most probably wants to feel number one right now they don't want to feel like they are number two three four somewhere down the line but they are just an old lover they want to feel special so keep the conversation really focused on the two of you that's it for now enjoy